Hey everyone, it's Melanie Lucero. I'm a local realtor servicing the Lake Anna and Central Virginia area. So as you can see behind me today, I have the most beautiful background and yes, it's real. I'm on vacation in Cancun, Mexico. Um, and yes, I am all beach hair, don't care today. I know and no makeup. If you know me, you know I'm a makeup girl. So <laughs> this is happening. But today what I wanted to do is answer one of the top questions that I'm getting from sellers right now and from my clients. And that question is, I'm ready to list my home, but I'm worried because I don't have another home lined up to purchase and move into. So first, this is a very real concern, um, and it's very common um, concern that I'm seeing as well. And if I was in this position, I would feel nervous about it as well. Uh, right now, I'm seeing a lot of sellers need to sell their current home in, in order to be able to fund the purchase of their next home. So if you're in this position, I have two options that I'm seeing work very well for sellers in this position. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to go ahead and share them with you. So the first option is a post-occupancy agreement, also known as a rent cap agreement. So what this is, is it's an agreement between the buyer and the seller that says after we close on the home, the seller is going to rent back the property from the buyer for a negotiated period of time, and the terms are also negotiated as well. This is a nice option because it helps the seller only have to move once. So basically they close the home, they get the profits from the, the, the sale of the home, and then they can use that to go and look for another home. And they only have to move once when they find their next home. This is a very popular option that I'm seeing right now. And typically the majority of buyers are agreeing to this because they know how saturated the market is and how difficult it is to get into a home. So they're more likely to agree to, to this if it comes up, just so that they can purchase the home, even if they have to wait a couple months before they can actually move into it. It's still a very popular option. The second option that I'm seeing work very well is a short-term rental. So this is very common because typically it can be a month-to-month -month agreement instead of having to do a year lease. And Airbnbs are also very popular options as well because you can rent for it any time frame that fits what you're looking for. And so when a seller closes on the uh, on the property, then they use, they go into a short-term rental uh, and then they use that time that they need to find the next home for them to move into. With this option, it does require two moves. So that's something to consider because you have to move out of the home that you're selling and then you have to move into a uh, short-term rental and then you have to move into the next home that you're purchasing. So that's a factor to consider. However, I'm seeing both these options work very well for my clients. It just depends on what fits what you're looking for best. So I hope this helps and I look forward to answering more questions that you have about selling or buying your home. Take care, bye.